Okay, so this is a tutorial to help you use wrist straps for your weightlifting. Okay, and this is a first person tutorial on how to use your weightlifting straps. This is one of the most confusing things to get right unless you see it from the first person and that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to be using this kind of a weightlifting strap. So there's lots of different weightlifting straps on the market. I happen to like these. This is just a basic cotton um, th from this company. This company is very highly rated and so it's the one that I got. It works great. Some of them actually have a little bit of neoprene from here to here so that this part is a little more tactile and I really like those but I'm finding those harder to find. If you can find them, go for it. Um, but most of them these days are just like this. They're cotton straps. So you'll notice on one end that there is a loop and then there's a tail. You'll have two of them. There is a loop and there is a tail. Now, most companies are gonna help you out in the way that they place their label, but this company did not do that. So this company makes it a little more confusing. Follow along, we're gonna start with the right hand. So you wanna use the wrist strap where the tail is on the right for your right hand. Here's your loop, okay? Here's your tail. The tail is on the right for your right hand. Cool. Uh, let's, pretend, let's ignore the label because what I'm finding is all the brands are different. What you're going to see with this one is the label is going to be facing you, but all the brands are doing it a little bit differently. So let's go like this. Loop on your left, tail on your right. Tail on the right is for your right hand. You take the tail and you loop it under and through the, through the loop, okay? So this is for the right hand. You want it nice and flat. So it looks like that. The tail came under and up. Left wrist strap. It's set up the same, okay? But what we wanna do is we want to reverse it. So the tail is on your left for your left hand. Here's your loop. Here's your tail. Tail is on the left hand, on the left side for the left hand. And you do the same thing. You loop it under, okay, so that it comes up and under, just like that. So what I was saying about the brand, see, technically for your left hand, this label should be flip-flopped. And a lot of brands will do that so that when you put it on your hand, the label is facing you, but this brand does not do that. So now I'm going to go back to the right. Here's our right, already looped, okay? This is the right hand. You stick your right hand up and in with the tail over here, tighten it, and you want it to kind of hang a little bit on your down on your wrist. You can try placing it higher on your wrist, but it's generally not comfortable there. They really are designed to be placed below the wrist at the top of the hand, okay? So this is the proper positioning so that the tail is crossing over your palm so that it ends between your thumb and your index finger, okay? Thumb and your index finger. Another way of looking at it is the tail follows your lifeline. On your palm, tail goes through between the thumb and the index finger, just like that. Let me show you the left. Same thing, I'm gonna take the right one off just to make it easier, okay? Now we're on the left, we already looped it and it would be upside down the way that I showed you to loop it. That's why what I was referring to in this label. Again, stick your hand up and in, ignore the label, pull it tight. You want it, you know, as tight as you can possibly get it, but it is gonna be nice and positioned at the top of your hand below your wrist joint. When you turn your hand over, the tail goes between your thumb and your index finger, and once again, the tail follows the lifeline of your palm. So when you've got them both on, ta-da! When you've got them both on, it's going to look like this from your perspective. Just like that from your perspective. That's half the battle. The second half of the battle is now getting these on a bar or dumbbells. 
Okay, and this is where the tricky part begins. So as you can see, I've got my barbell here. You've got your barbell either on a rack or on the floor. It doesn't even really matter where it is. This could also be dumbbells. We're gonna start with the right hand, okay? So you're gonna place your hand on the bar, generally where you want your hand on the bar. Now normally that would be out here, but for the purpose of filming this in the first person, I'm just gonna do it centered up so that you can see it. So you want to be able to grab the bar with your hand, right? This is how you're gonna hold the bar. So with your opposite hand, with your left hand, you're just gonna bring that tail up and over like that, okay? So once again, your hand goes on the bar like this, the tail is hanging, you pull the tail under, up and over, tighten it, and grab the tail. That is your grip right there. All you have to do is twist and rotate and use your hand to tighten up that strap so that now when you lift, if this is nice and tight, when you lift, that strap is going to help you. Now, that's the easy part. Now that you're in position, the harder part is doing your left hand without your right hand. This is where it gets tricky. So I want you to imagine, in order to film this in the first person, of course, um, I've got to make it easier on myself. So you're going to imagine that my right hand is staying here. So just imagine that. Use your imagination. <laughs> okay? And so for the left, with that right hand in position, now what you've got to do is bring your left hand in. Again, grab the bar where you want it. So, you know, use your markers on the bar. If you're having a narrower grip, if you're having a wider grip, you just wanna make sure obviously that you're setting your left and your right hand up equidistant using the markers on the bar. So for the purpose of today, we're ignoring that just because it makes it a little bit easier, but grab the bar where you intend to hold the bar. Then, because you've only got your left hand, you gotta figure out this tail without using your other hand. So the best thing to do is take your thumb, wrap it up under, grab it with your fingers, and go like that, okay? Then you gotta inch by inch tighten it up by using your fingers until you can get that nice and tight. It can be done. Lots of people are doing it, but it's really tricky at first. So again, on the left, you're just coming in to grab it. The tail goes under, just like it did on the other side, under, up, and over. You can do that with your fingers real easy. It's now tightening it. It gets a little tricky. And just take your time and play with it because I really find the tighter it is, the better. And it's this left hand that's just a little trickier to get, but once you get it, boy, it's nice and strong because then when you lift up, this is in a really great position. Hope it helps.